Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. So, to start with our Indominus Rex, we want to begin with the eye. Now, I'm going to start over here with the eye, and he has a very small eye. So, or she, I should say. So, I'm just going to start by making a small sad face like that, and then a small happy face like that. Then in the very center, I'm just going to make a little black dot. I know it's kind of hard to see. Now, let's start with her head. So, starting up here, I'm going to begin with the nose. So, I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves around here, just like that. Then, what I'm going to do is, as I get up here, I'm going to draw a little bit more, and I'm going to start to come in a little bit like this. And that's going to be like a spike for her. So then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to do that again and make another spike. And I'm going to repeat this a few more times. And you can see as I'm doing it, I'm, start to, I'm starting to go down at an angle. And I'm going to do one more right there. Now, let's come back up to her mouth. So, starting up here, I'm going to curve this down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve up, and then I'm going to come down like this, make it a little wavy. And then I'm going to go up and then down like that. Now, for the bottom part of her mouth, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this. And then I'm going to curve it even more until I get to about there. Then I'm going to start here and I'm going to curve this down and then bring it up a little bit. And then go right up into here like that. Now, before I do any more details, I want to add some teeth. So starting up here, I'm going to start making some long, skinny teeth. And I'm going to put these in different spots and locations. And then I want to do the same thing over here. I'm going to keep drawing some of these long, sharp teeth. Then right here, I'm going to draw a curved line down, show where her mouth is opening. And then I'm going to draw a line that curves like this and then comes back for her tongue. Then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to draw a line that goes around the teeth and then comes down. And then it's going to come right back here underneath the tongue like this. And then I'm going to draw some more teeth on this side. Now, up here, she's going to have her nose, so I'm going to draw a little line that curls up and gets kind of fat at the top, almost like a comma. So, now, let's draw some more of her body. So, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to continue with a few more of these little spike patterns. And then, now, what I want to do is I want to start making these a little bit bigger. And I want to kind of go up with these, and then I want to slowly come back down. Like that. Then I'm going to start bringing these down even more, and then I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to curve this line around so I come up here. And then I'm going to curve this back around like this. And I'm just going to keep curving it back till I get to right about there. So now, starting right up here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down. And then it's going to curve up right about there for her neck. Then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that kind of comes down and goes back up. 
And then let's draw our arms. So first, let's draw a line that curves down and goes to here. And then let's start up here and draw a line that goes down, kind of comes to an angle, and then curves back around. Then I'm going to draw a line here that goes up and then comes down like this. Now, let's make the hand. So first, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and then I'm going to make a big bump down here like this for a finger. Then I'm going to start here and make the same thing for another one. And then this one, I'm going to draw it out here like this, and then come back up. And then I'm going to put some claws on the end of these. Now let's make the other one. So this one, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that curves down. And then I'm going to start here and draw a line that goes down and then comes back up like this. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes in a little bit like that for the arm. And then I'm going to draw the claws on here. So here I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then kind of curls around like this. And then it's going to come back down for one finger. Then I'm going to draw a line that curls around here and then comes back for another finger. And then I'm going to draw a line that curls around here for that last finger and then it's going to come into here to finish off the hand. Then I'm just going to add some of those claws onto here. Now, let's work on the back part. So I'm going to start right here and draw a line for her stomach. Then let's do her back leg. So I'm going to start here and draw a line that just comes down and then curves around to here. Then I'm going to go over. Then I'm just going to bring this line down. Now starting up here, I'm going to curve a line that comes down here like this. Then I'm going to go up and then kind of swoop down and make a point and then come back down. Now, the claws and feet are going to be much bigger than the hands, and they're not going to be so skinny. So right here, I'm going to draw a line that just comes down and a little bit back like that. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this. And then I'm going to draw a line that kind of sweeps around like this. Then we want a claw at the end of each of these. Now over here, starting right here by the arm, I'm going to draw a line that goes in a little bit and then down. And then over here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down and then comes back at an angle like this. Then here, I'm going to draw one toe like this. And then I'm going to draw another toe that comes down and comes back up here like that. And then of course, we have to put the big claws on there. So now, this is our basic shape of the Indominus Rex, and now we have lots of details to add. So, up here on the face, I'm going to add a few little lines by the mouth, just to show that that's part of the skin that's kind of stretching. And then around the eye, she has like this, almost like a circular shape around there. Not like a spot, but just kind of like the skin is like indented, or indent, indented a little bit. And then I'm going to make a little 
a couple broken lines around here. Put a few lines right underneath her eye. Now, I want to put a few of these kind of broken lines right here on her neck just to show where there's like some wrinkles and stuff. Then, starting here, I'm going to add some of these, kind of make these lines a little bit longer, make some of them kind of broken. Bring this line in a little bit like that. I'm also going to add a few little lines underneath her chin. Then I'm going to add a few extra lines onto the spikes that we made just to make it look a little bit longer and make her skin look a little bit rougher and kind of scalier.